Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiderverse Finance. The month of July was a pretty good one in the markets. The S&P 500 started around 4,450 at the beginning of the month. We see a good rise and ending almost near like 4,580. That's like close to 3% gain for the month. You can see here the RSI indicates that the market was overvalued around middle of the month. You can see here the RSI is just over 70. But other than that, pretty much uh, it was range bound to the upper side. And pretty much throughout the month, the S&P 500 was above its 50-day uh, trading range, which is a good sign, showing that the market is in the upward trajectory. But you never know. Typically, the month of August and also September are pretty volatile in the markets, something they call like seasonality, and that may pull the markets down. Let's see what uh, the future holds for us. But uh, in this video, I want to discuss uh, how much I made through options for the month of July. Let's check it out. So this is my Google Tracker where I track all my option trades. To those who are new to such videos, I keep my tracker simple. Tell me what stock am I trading, what strategy, whether it's a cash secured put or a card call, how many option contracts, when do I open them, what's the expiry date, when do I close them. On this amount receive section, we see the strike price, what was the action taken, most days it will be sell to open, how much premium received, what the fees charged, and the amount paid. In this, the action can be like a buy to close, where the contract gets assigned, or gets expired, all those I track over there. Likewise, how much I paid to close the contract. So what close for the contract is what uh, is dictated by my profit target. So I always keep 75% as my profit target. So so as in when I open a contract, I enter my amount received details over here. The formulas will take care of uh, how much should I be raising my buy to close transaction based on 75% of uh, the amount received. And that's what I raised the closing transaction for. And that's it. Simple. I do not keep uh, a close eye on the market everywhere. As in when the option price hits that buy to close transaction, it gets executed. Simple. 75%. That's enough for me. Most people go up to 90. I'm not that greedy. Some people, in fact, close at 50%. I don't want to leave money on the table so much. So 75% is my sweet spot. I'm good with it. And finally, how much profit or loss I've made through that transaction, what's the money held for that particular transaction. Then I have a yield to strike, which is how much uh, premium I'm receiving in relation to the strike price, what's the return on capital, and the annual part of that return on capital. So looking at the transactions over here, the first one was with the Manchester United, which has been my favorite stock so far this year to raise cash secured puts on. The premiums are juicy. I never got assigned. And I made a pretty decent uh, amount on this. Then carrying on with that, a covered call on my Bowlero. Then other cash secured put on Manchester United. Then US Bangkok. So this one, I didn't raise a cash secured put. I bought it outright before its ex dividend date. And I got the transaction capture for the dividends. And after that, I raised a covered call and I got, got, I didn't got assigned. So whatever money I made on this, like around $14, is on top of the dividend amount. So I got paid. $48 for holding US Bank Corp uh, by June 29th and I got $14 more for the option transaction so that was a pretty sweet one then a cash equity put on Warner Brothers the other cash equity put on Microvision and a card call on Bank of America you can see all of these transactions have been pretty much in green so far but for Bank of America I had to roll this particular transaction for the immediate loss but I made profit on the roll transaction and that's how you manage your options. If they go in the money, you roll them out to a certain date and strike price to make uh, money out of it. Then finally, my Bolero card call got assigned. I made a decent profit out of it, like close to 150 bucks over here. And I got rid of my Bolero at a profit. Perfect. Then I got assigned on my Lucid cash secured put. I didn't want to, but there was a big dip in Lucid towards middle of July and I couldn't roll it for a gain. So I just accepted that I had to take it and start raising card calls on it, which is what I started doing here. You can see immediately turned it around, raised a card call, and that resulted in a five bucks transaction. Yeah, there are tiny breadcrumbs, but over the long run, they make enough money for you to simply close this particular transaction. Then like the US Bank Corp, I bought 100 shares in Apache Corp right before the ex-dividend date on July 28th and raised a card call on it. So I got paid 25 bucks plus 80 bucks. So over 100 bucks over here on Apache. Then a cash secret put on Pfizer. 
that got expired and I just made 32 bucks out of it. Then Verizon, Bank of America being the card calls. And I took a gamble on AMC and made a small gain of 10 bucks on it. Likewise on Stone Corp, 10 bucks on that. Another cash ticket for an AMC for 10, for 10 bucks. Likewise Sirius 6M and Plug Power. So these are all are like small transactions giving me like 10 bucks here, 11 bucks there. And towards the end of the month, I had to roll my Microvision cash ticket put for an instant loss of close to 14 bucks. But I did roll the transaction out. And if that particular transaction by is under five bucks by August 11th, I have to get assigned for those shares. I hope not. I hope to just keep rolling it as far as I can or as long as I can till I make enough money out of it to just uh, get out of it. Yeah, it has been a bummer stock to hold so far. Well, not just stock, a bummer sticker to raise uh, any sort of options contract. So we're currently looking at the actual contracts I have. I have one on AMC, Microvision, like I just said, and Sirius XM, Lucid, and Verizon. So these are all the options transactions on my Fidelity portfolio, totaling 56 of them. So the final amount I made for the month of July was $587.25 on a capital of $14,675, turning me on dot 4%. So I beat the S&P 500 for the month of July by almost a percent which I'm pretty happy with. June was the best one so far, over 5% return. That was a freaky month. It doesn't happen always. I admit it. I'm happy with what uh, the transactions I'm doing. So almost all the option transactions I create a sell to open orders are between 20 and 30 delta. Most are weekly. In some cases, if required, I'll go bi-weekly. So with that conservative uh, nature of options transactions also, I was able to make 4% on my portfolio here, which I'm pretty happy with. We can see here the charts, nice rising. Yeah, uh, June was, I, I don't know if that will come again. Let's see. You never know. I didn't expect June to happen. The markets were in the upswing, but still I made enough money out of it. Because options pricing, you won't believe. Many folks think that you can make money only when the markets are in a volatile mood, like what I expect them to be in month of August and September. Let's see. I'll put my transactions to test over there. And the similar one on a chart size, you can see it starting at just under 1%, then going all the way up to 5%, and then now resting at 4%. So, yeah, pretty much happy with the, my options journey so far, and exciting to see what the month of August brings. Yeah, I'll keep you all posted on this. So, that's all I have in this video for you all. If you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button so that YouTube can suggest this video to many more people out there. And that would really help this young channel. And please mention in the comment section, are you into options trading? If so, what trades or how much did you make in the month of July? Let's keep this interaction going on. And until we meet to the next video, let's try to do as much as possible to be financially healthy and keep taking those small strides towards financial freedom. See ya. Bye.